Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Now I want to look at the charging of the Reno Zoe. So I filmed the Reno Zoe charging at the Unity charger. As always, I, I just do my tests in the daylight and the Unity charger, so the screen is not very good in the daylight. It's good for you to see, but it's very bad to film because it does glass in front and that reflects of course the stuff that's behind it and so it's very hard to show so again I had to cut out all the stuff that's important and what I noticed afterwards when I was looking at the, the footage that the Ionity charger was doing something wrong so the power, the, the charging power is wrong in the first 25 minutes it always shows the same 42 kilowatt but it's wrong um, because I've seen that the amps is always at 125 and the voltage is increasing so it cannot be the same thing all the time and so I calculated it and then I put it underneath so you can see so it's it's really different and uh, let's just go through and after this uh, we'll go through the charging curve that I made a little graph let's go so like I said it charges with 43 kilowatt at the start not with 42 and it's pretty good and and like I always said in all the other videos 125 amp that's the peak for the Reno Zoe for this one and it's very fast at the 15 percent as you can see two and a half kilowatt hours charged after four minutes I, I started at 11 percent I didn't uh, go down more but you can calculate what the charging power will be when you go lower you can do just the voltage more and more down to one percent or something we're 20 percent and we're already 44 kilowatt well like I said voltage is going up uh, amps stay the same so charging power is increasing and in a second it's even 45 when is it almost now yes 45 kilowatt now we have uh, almost 8 kilowatt hour charged in 11 minutes at 25 percent I think it charges really well and it's nice that the AC you can charge 20, uh, with 22 what uh, I found out is that the uh, emergency charger as uh, Renault is calling it so the home charger with a, for a normal plug 2 and 30 volt can only charge with 1.7 to 1.8 kilowatt not 2.3 as most others so yeah it's not nice to and it, again they call it emergency don't use it all the time and as you can see it's still 45 kilowatt at 36 percent 14 kilowatt hours charged in 20 minutes it's really good um, maybe i should put in the graph yeah, on the side yeah it would be a good idea <laughs> voltage going up amp stays the same percentage goes up uh, in a in a minute or so uh, well our minute not the minute this of course is sped up a lot we have 46 kilowatt and that's pretty neat for a car this size um, 18 kilowatt hours charged in 25 minutes to 45 percent and now we have 46 kilowatt and soon the Ionity charger will recognize that something's wrong it will go from 42 to 46 and then back down again and this is now when then the uh, the charging uh, power of what Ionity shows is real <laughs> it's the real number after 30 minutes we have 22 kilowatt hours charged we have 51 percent and now it will go up for a sec there we go 46 45 and from now on this is true so it went down from 46 to 45 and you can see at 50 what was it 51 52 percent the amps are going down a voltage is still going up amps are going down and therefore your uh, kilowatt so the charging power is going down after 35 minutes we have 26 kilowatt hours charged of 58 percent yeah you can see me walking in the back when i was charging i had two e-trons charging there at the same time i charged for 80 minutes they both charged for 10 minutes maybe 15 even and then went their way and i couldn't use air conditioning and they were all cool in their car after 40 minutes we have almost 30 kilowatt hours charged we have 64 percent amps is now under 100 amp even at uh, 36 kilowatt now charging power uh, almost 70 percent 
70% after 45 minutes, again I started at 11, 33 kilowatt hours charged, voltage is still going up, it will go above 400, 92 amps though, and uh, the charging uh, power is gradually going down, and 75% of the 50 minutes, 35 kilowatt hours charged, it's good, 33 kilowatt is our charging speed that again it really gradually goes down and for the people who always oh uh, always who told me hey you can just just uh, charge with ac it's the same no it's not you will see even at a, uh, a very high state of charge you still have more than 22 kilowatt that you get with ac charging so dc charging if you want to go fast ac charging of course is cheap it still works very nice. The car is full in two hours. That's just awesome. At, uh, where are we? Almost 60 minutes. We have 26 kilowatt charging. Um, here, the, the, the white e-tron <laughs> that you can see in the back. At 60 minutes, we have 40 kilowatt hours charged. We have 84%. 26 kilowatt is our charging power. And we'll go on for another 18 minutes. Then I stopped. I stopped at 99% because from 99 to 100% takes a long time, 10-15 minutes. It's really going gradually down from 15 kilowatts to slow, slow, slow to almost 2. It really takes a long time. I did it one time and at this time I said, no, I'm not going to wait another 15 minutes for 1%. No, at 90% we still have 26 kilowatt. We have 43 kilowatt hours charge after 67 minutes. Uh, see what it does at 17 minutes. Seven, oh, charging power is going down. 70 minutes, 44.5, 44 and a half kilowatt hours charged, 92%. 94 percent, 94 amps going down. Voltage is almost at the 400 volt. 23 kilowatts still above if you charge AC. Still working. That's great. 96%. When does it go under the AC charging? It's off to 75. Now we are 22. This is the same at 97. So at 97% you can either charge DC. Uh, now you have 21. I'm pretty sure at, at AC you will also charge lower than the 20 kilowatt that you can see now. And at 98 it goes down to the 15, 16 kilowatt. Almost the 80 minutes. This is where I stopped at 48 kilowatt hours charged. 400 volt. Only 40 amp, yeah, but I think that's pretty good. And as you can see, with the 125 amp limit, you can s charge just charge at a normal triple charger because they are limited to 125 amps as well. Let's look at the charging curve. The first one is from uh, is time in minutes and state of charge. So you can see it really gradually goes up. It's not a I'm charging uh, so strong and then I'm charging slow. It's really going very nicely. And the next graph is the charging power in state of charge. So you can see at what state of charge do you have what charging power. And you can see the drop off. It goes up, 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 up because it stays at the 125 amp. And then it you get uh, at 50, when is it? 51% you have to drop no 52 57 uh, 57 percent sorry 57 percent it goes down and then gradually gradually goes down so really nicely made nice charging with this car thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye